Hey, it's Chris Palmer Lou with Eleven Wealth Capital, and I'm excited to talk about the next opportunity we have here for all our investors, Midwest Portfolio 7. Uh, this is 328 units in and around Des Moines, Iowa. This is going to match perfectly our long-term wealth building plan where we'll have the opportunity to come in, purchase assets that are currently well below the market on how they're performing, implement our value-add strategy, and of course then uh, refinance and allow people to uh, participate in the tax write-offs and the cash flow along the way. Uh, like I said, there are 328 units and it's split up into three different properties. Uh, this is we, we actually see an opportunity here to increase the rent 25%. Now that's not because of anything extremely special we're doing. It's because we're going to just update the units and we're going to charge market rent. Uh, currently, the the seller seems to be very comfortable with where they're at, which is fine, and they like the really high occupancy. But what they're not doing is increasing the rents and really increasing the income as high as it can go. And that's our entire strategy. By increasing the rent 25%, we'll actually have a chance, if the property is valued at a six cap, to increase the value of the property by $11.6 million. Now that's the lowest hanging fruit, obviously. We're going to update the aesthetics and really just allow for perhaps a higher paying clientele to move in or just the current tenants to pay the market rate. But there are additional ways that we raise the value of these properties. Uh, we'll be adding a cable and internet package that nets us $20. So for example, you have a tenant paying $80 a month for the fastest internet possible through us where it would be $100 direct to the provider. The best part is we're only paying 60 to the actual provider. So what does that mean? That means there's a $20 delta per unit, and that's actual income to us as owners that will increase the value of the property approximately $1.3 million if we're valuing it at a six cap. Additional ways we'll raise the value are a common area maintenance fee. It's $15 a door. Uh, we do have the possibility to add solar energy to these apartment complexes. It's something we always underwrite. It's something we always perform due diligence on. And if this does become an opportunity, we always see that as an income op option for us. We get tax credits. We get tax write-offs. And there are additional income streams as well. It's not a guarantee at this time that this will pan out, but it's certainly on our radar. And we always look to install and implement this process if at all possible. Uh, if you look at these different implementations of increased income, you're seeing the increased value of 14 to $16 million on a property. What does that mean? That means in our opinion, when we're buying this asset or these three assets as, as an investment, if the current owner was charging the correct or the market rent and was implementing our strategies today at this very moment, they could actually increase the value by 14 to $16 million. So that's not a crystal ball approach. We're not looking into the future saying we think Des Moines will grow exponentially that will provide such organic growth that will increase the value 14 to $16 million. We're actually saying if we could snap our fingers and operate this asset today like we feel we could, it would actually be worth 14 to $16 million more dollars. Another way to look at it is if we owned this property five years ago and implemented all of our business strategies, today it would be worth 14 to $16 million more million than we are buying it at today. So we're very excited for this opportunity. You can see the data right here on the slideshow. High equity multiple, high cash on cash return. We do pass our tax write-offs through to the investors, so everyone gets to partake in the tax write-offs. Our goal here is to refinance all three assets uh, in the third year. And this will allow us to step into agency debt or the most attractive debt, which is Fre Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, maybe even HUD. And this allows for a long amortization, a low interest rate, interest-only payments. Uh, we actually have an additional option where we sell one of the assets. And that actually allows everybody to refinance or return 50 to 60% of their original capital. So they would still own the other two assets, but have 50 to 60% of their original capital, yet continue to cash flow. So we have two options with this. We either refinance all of them in year three or four, or we could sell one of them, obtain most of our capital back, at least half of the capital back, yet continue to cash flow 
with uh, a lot less into the deal as far as original capital is concerned. Uh, we divide this 70-30. It's 70% going to the investor, 30% coming to the general partnership. Now, of course, that's after our 7% preferred return. Don't forget that the first 7% of cash on cash or profit made by the company annually, that is provided, paid out quarterly, uh, that is provided to the investor first. That is kind of a safety net that we like to view is in saying, look, we don't partake as owners or general partners. We don't partake in the equity or profit split until you as the investor earn at least 7%. So it's a good safety net for that. And it actually makes us stand behind our investments because we actually benefit as the general partners if we can make it perform higher than 7%. Uh, the projected depreciation on this is about 50% in year one. What does that mean? That means a $100,000 investor will actually collect around $50,000 of write-offs in year one. So that'll be very beneficial, whether they can apply that to their personal returns, they should check with their CPA, they can apply it to other investments. It'll certainly come in handy if we sell one of the assets so we won't have to worry as much or if at all for capital gains on that one asset in year three or four. Many tax write-off benefits that'll always be passed through the investor. If you have any questions on any of these, please feel free to reach out to Jason Belt, Colin Schwartz, Chris Pomerlew, anybody you have the contact number for, uh, get online, look at our deal room in Juniper Square. And if you have questions, let us know. We're always here to help. We're always here to ask questions. And we're really excited for this opportunity.